Hello everyone, today we're gonna, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to mimic what it's like for birds in the wild. So what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing either chopsticks, forks, spoons, or straws. So these are four items that um, I picked out, but you can use anything from a pen if you want, or you can use tweezers, cotton swabs, toothpicks, or any type of tool that you can find. Then you're going to be needing some snacks. And these snacks, I have Cheerios, I have all types of nuts, I have some candy, I have some macaroni, but you can use any type of snack that's small and different shape. Then what you're gonna be needing is you're gonna have to be making a square. And to make that square, I have some white tape that I'm gonna be making the square. But if you don't have white tape, you can use regular scotch tape, or if you want, you can use four pens to make the square. So to make my square, I'm going to be taking the tape that I have and making a nice, pretty big square. And when you're doing this, keep in mind that your square does not have to be perfect and it should be around the length of a pen or a pencil. And as you can see, mine's a bit big, but it should be around the size of four pens. Also, if you want to use pens and they keep moving around, you can use scotch tape to tape the pens in place um, to make your square. Also, you should probably be doing this um, experiment on a counter as I'm using here because you need a flat surface, but you can use a table or any other flat surface that doesn't matter when it gets dirty. So the next step is you're gonna pour some food onto the square, but make sure you don't fill it completely and you still have space to in between here, as you can see. Now what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna set a timer for 10 seconds. And what you're gonna be doing with that timer is you're gonna be using each item for 10 seconds. And what you can use is you can use you don't have to use four items. If you only have two items, then you can do one for 10 seconds and the other for 10 seconds. And for the purpose of not doing, keep giving anything away, I'm not actually gonna do the experiment, but what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna start a timer and only using the item, you can't use any other hand, you're gonna try to see what you can get. And then you're gonna switch it to here and then you can use this one, this one, and then whatever your other materials are. And what you're gonna be doing is after you collect this, and let's say this was from the fork, you can put the fork next to it. Then you're gonna use a spoon and every item that you got with the other item, you can put next to that and so forth. And then what you're gonna be doing is if you have all your items next to it, next to your tool, you're gonna to see any trends. And what I mean by trends is you're gonna be seeing if maybe the fork only got this type of food, but the straw got this and this type of food. So you're just going to be seeing what you notice after your piles. Also, if you run out of food with items, so if you use these two items and all of this food's out, then you can take more food and finish it up. Thank you. Now that you're done the experiment, let's take a look at, at what you were able to see. What you were able to see is how animals adapt to their environment. I'm going to use the example as a fork, but you guys might have not used forks, so you can choose to use another item for this example. What I noticed was a fork tended to pick up only the cereal. Since you guys, like I said earlier, are not using the same items, this is true for other items as well. Now, the idea of the tools was to understand how it's like for birds, and especially bird beaks. For example, a hawk has a very sharp beak, and this is because its main source of food is rodents and rats, and it needs the sharp beak to be able to eat those items. However, 
If you look at a bird such as the hummingbird, it has a very not sharp and very thin needle-like beak. And that's because it tends to eat nectar from flowers and it needs that beak to be able to have that food. What happens is this happens because of natural selection. Natural selection is the process whereby organisms better adapted to their environment tend to survive and produce more offsprings. Now this idea was created by a man named Charles Darwin. This man was from Britain and he noticed natural selection on his trip through the Galapagos Islands. What he noticed was over the islands, different birds had different beaks depending on what food was available on the islands. For example, if only insects were available on the island, they had a pretty thin beak. 